think about like what hero is good that can lane against either Brewmaster or their Troll Warlord. I mean, they're gonna go aggro Chai lane. So, what if they just pick the Ember again? I mean, Ember it might not be the physical damage they're looking for, they but they just probably can make up for that. Oh, they go. Mm -hmm. Oh, they go for the Sun. Oh, okay, of course it was Sun. You know. Of course, it seems so obvious now. Good. Yeah, that's so intelligence. Like ever, ever since that change, the hero's mana pool was like it hurt him a lot. He has like one less uh, dual breath, and that matters a lot when it comes to like this this level of gameplay. Flexing that level twenty five nature's profit run four with his team there. Only level five. Level <laughs> five. <Usually. laughs> <Disgusting. laughs> Get flexed on, kid. Alrighty then, let's get into it. Game number three. It is Liquid versus Alliance as they battle it out for that second spot in the major qualifiers. It's everything to play for right now. Are they going to be able to secure this? I mean, Liquid, they want to be back. They, they're the grand finalists here. We know they have the potential to play incredibly well, but Alliance putting down such a fight right now, taking game one, and uh, with a pretty strong draft game two. Um, just quickly... Based on the two heroes, uh, the two teams, and what they've picked right now, who are you favoring? Uh, I'm gonna favor Liquid this game. I think Alliance have a pretty strong team fight, but Liquid can really have very fast tempo in this game. Like Liquid need to play super passive and not do anything for a long time for them to like fall behind. That's my feeling, and I think the Troll Warlord is not gonna have a very good game uh, later because of this Viper. All right, well, I think, I mean, you know, my boy Tiger, he's had a rough time so far. He didn't have a very good game last game on the Enigma. He tried to make the plays, got a couple of good black holes, but uh, unfortunately in the late game just couldn't cut it. But I think he's now loaded up with the redemption energy. He's, he's ready to put in a performance this game. So uh, I'm looking forward to Alliance taking the victory in this match. That's my prediction. All right, sounds good. And wow, Liquid, Aggro Thailand again. Who would have thought? <laughs> Never have I seen. Bold prediction pays off. Yeah, they're up uh, here. I'm at like top. an they've Oracle. Got the Chen, they've got GH, and uh, they've got Miracle just hanging out in this uh, this this top lane. Meanwhile, Mind Control will work it up down bottom on this Nature's Profit. So Alliance, I'm wondering if they're going to spot this. They're doing the same thing though. Oh, actually, it's an Inkmid lane. So yeah, Tiger oh, probably going to is actually. In jungle. Yeah, Koikma is playing in the off lane and. Uh, With the Kunky, yeah. Make it, yeah. Troll is going mid lane against the Viper because mid lane is like a free farm lane no matter what. So, uh, whoever the Viper is gonna fight. So yeah, Mifei versus uh, Matu in mid. Jakiro gonna TP top. He's gonna help out the Brewmaster. Sun immediately thrown onto Boxy, but Insani is here to uh, slow them down and keep them from damaging Boxy too much as he grabs a singular creep under. Oh no, actually Insani will get it instead. Nice. Look, look at Jakiro, it's like 50 seconds in, he already has to use his clarity. That's yeah, how sad it is. He by GH as well. He wraps around behind the tower and gets the clarity cancel. He doesn't have any left. It's only mangoes now. Yeah. It's he has like a, one yeah. nuke left before he has to use his mangoes already. And no one else in the game has to like, and GH's gonna use that much resources. As well. Goodness me. Really nice. Is, uh, feeling yeah, pretty so Chen got a... Chen got a pretty nice creep. He's gonna bring it low, so he's gonna try and use the uh, three <laughs> mud golems, but that creep is not killing it fast enough. He should yeah. just go to the big camp if he wants yeah, to get just, it low enough. It's right here. I don't know. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, oh, just use okay. the holy persuasion and get another one, so I don't... Alright, that's also really... good enough. Yeah. Yeah, so I got three... So I got three golems. Yeah, they're looking at Insania right now. GH happy to kind of fight this one as Kuroki's coming oh, in. Oh boy. They're coming in quick. Here comes a first stone. Here comes a second and the third. So much damage and more. It just doesn't stop the machine gun of rocks. Gets killed onto Insania. Goodness. There's four me. golems now. Okay, in 20 seconds he's going to have more. four golems. How much damage that is? Oh my god. Foxy's running for his life in fear from these mini golems just chasing people down. He's also uh, ended up with a Vol Assassin as well because he had to uh, quickly Holy Persuade a creep to make sure he could get these uh, more rocks coming in. Yeah, it's got that poison damage going. Oh, oh yeah. okay. It's, it, they don't have enough, I don't think, to kill him. It's, it's so it's annoying. Just so annoying. <laughs> he just got back yeah. into this lane. He's like nearly down to 50% mana and HP already. Bit of over exaggeration, but still, he feels that way. He's having a terrible, terrible time. This Kuroki just bullying. Wow, actually, Koikva is getting destroyed by mind control bottom lane. 
I guess they didn't think this lane was gonna go so poorly. They, they probably thought that Koiko was gonna do just fine. Yeah, he's got nine denies on him. And it's only three minutes in the game. That's pretty huge. Yeah, mind control. Um, kind of beating down Koifa here a little bit. Yeah, he didn't go the double star shield on the Kunkka. He probably, you know, he probably thought he was going middle, right? And then uh, also, I mean, the lane gets better for the Kunkka for sure once he hits higher levels in his Tidebringer. So yeah, the rest exactly. The, 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 cool down, the damage, etc., etc. But uh, yeah, for the time being, it's oh, a little G8. bit rough. Did you go for a little oh, play here? You have enough damage to bring down mind control? I certainly don't think so. Tiger's also coming in. He's actually being chased by his GHs here as well. Yeah, um, oh, GH just wants creep. to do some mosquito things to Enigma. Yep, one of his Making heroes sure is super annoying. His timing will be slowed down. down. Oh yeah, for sure. And he even gets more annoying once he hits level 6, running around the map. Miracle okay. Uh, Tiger being surrounded a little bit here. Sun comes out. I think he might be. He pulls down the Midnight Pulse, but... Ooh, nice fisher actually. Uh, sorry, um, Torrent gonna hold them back, but the right clicks are gonna come in. Mind control. And that's gonna be a kill, but the return kill coming in quickly. Koikov finds it, but it was uh, much more... Actually, much more gold coming out for Mind Control, so this is totally worth it for Tiger right now. It wasn't first blood. Yeah, that was very, very much worth it for Koikov. Like, he really needed that to come back. And now he's got the Chainmail. It's gonna be level 5. He's completely fine in this lane. There's not much the Nature's Prophet can do to him anymore. He's caught up. You say that. And uh, with lane. GH and Mind Control coming in here, they're doing a fair amount of uh, damage to Koiko. He's just trying to run himself Whoa. away. Uh, he's taking Those blocks. Hit after hit after hit. Yeah, the Treant's really getting in the way here, and Koiko comes straight back to the, the tower. Still chasing. They've got the Impale, but a big miss from GH is going to allow Koiko to get away here. Might have been able to get the kill had that connected, but it doesn't connect and he will be okay. And now a TP back to he base. Has nine arm. Nice and peachy again. Yeah, he has like 9 armor under a tower, even though he has the uh, Blightstone, so he has uh, no problem at all. That was a lot that GH had to commit there as well. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty much, uh, I mean, he's got the two mangoes, Fires. but the bounty runes, Koikva, is he gonna make it in time? Oh, he just about is, GH. Unable to stop Koikva. I'm not grabbing that one bounty rune there, but uh, Koikva won't get the other one. So yeah, mid lane is just free farm for both of the mid laners, Troll and the Viper. As we expected, Enigma, you know, this game, the Enigma's timing has been slowed down a lot. Like, he's he was level 5 at this time already, last game. But, but just because the Nyx slowed him down just a little bit and uh, he's not going to be able to pressure as fast or as quickly as he would have liked to. So how's Miracle? Miracle's just... I mean Miracle and uh, Boxy, they have the same amount of farm. That's pretty good. I was actually thinking that the Brewmaster is going to have a really hard lane, but he's doing very well for himself. Yeah, considering, I mean, they kind of moved the Nyx away fairly quickly, so it wasn't the aggressive trial lane we used to seeing. Um, but instead, the Nyx sat in roaming around a little bit more, trying to just, you know, harass the Enigma a little bit, bondle him, stop him from being able to just freely hit all the creeps and uh, put some pressure across the map rather than focusing all onto the top lane. But that does mean Boxy's going to come off pretty nicely here. Yeah, Enigma wants to get his Dominator now, try to see if he can apply some pressure. But when, once the Brewmaster is level 6, the Sven cannot sit in that lane anymore. It's really easy to kill him with plus 1. Mid lane, uh, NP TPing it. Are they really going to try and pressure him? Oh, they have Viper ult here. Yeah, yeah, there comes the Viper Strike onto the Troll Wall, but the immediate TP. TP is in response. He's getting himself out. Nobody actually commits to the TP. And, oh, that, was, uh, that was actually perfect for uh, by Liquid. They just did that to force a reaction, and now they're just going to try to take this tower. Kunkka's TPing in though, he's got both. He just needs to clear the next wave. This is all just for reactions. They pretty much committed four TPs around the mid lane alliance. Yeah, that's absolutely so, true. And, uh, their moves are gonna be limited. Whoa, favor. what? You really need to bring okay. this guy down, because uh, look at the damage he's doing to the tower right now. And Miracle is still defending top. He's making sure that the tower doesn't die so quickly, and now Matumba Man is gonna rotate there to just uh, save the tower. Yeah, they're really rotating in the heroes for this. They don't want this to go down so easily, and they will save it indeed. Oops. He's just trying to get this uh, Wild Wing Ripper here. It's worth 200 gold if you can find it, but it's going to be a long chase for Miracle. And oh, Rather Nature just picks it off. Never mind. Meanwhile, Insani in the bottom lane also falling. Very valuable Rather Nature yeah. there. NP just TP'd in, and 
Got him. His micro on these trends is actually just beautiful. Like, he always gets the blocks with them, and it's so annoying for these supports who don't even have boots. He just got boots now. Top lane, a bit of engagement coming on as they're rooking onto Kuro here. Getting a bit more damage, they're going to bring him down though. Boxy on top, but there's a fine favor on himself, just uh, increasing his HP regen a little bit. Lance unable to secure any kind of kill up here. But, uh, Boxy keep on rolling into this lane. And Tiger as well, they're looking to really try and push this one down. The Max Levitox is a very annoying target. He drops on the floor again and again. The damage coming through onto Marty with the boat as well. They might have enough to bring down this Viper. They're going to need a little bit more damage. Koifa running in as well. And Matu finally going to full hit. Eventually goes down to Boxy. But now Miracle on the back lines gets a big hit onto one. Tiger as well not really looking like he's going to survive this one. Boxy into the trees here. He's got to find a way out of this one. But I'm not sure he will. GH just chasing him here. He's going to have to stun in two seconds. Boxy, what can you even do right now? He's going for a little run. He's just going to try and run them around as much as they can here. Liquid though, uh, they don't have a stun left. They actually use the Impale already, so that's going to be a free boxy escape there. Radiant structures are fortified. Alright, Alliance losing a Radiant fairly costly fight up here at top, which attack. is going to allow Miracle to maybe put some pressure on the tower. I'll tell you that. Not even there anymore. Yeah, that was, down to bottom. That was, actually, that was actually a pretty good fight for Liquid. Lions had to use their brew split for that, so it's going to give them some breathing room to be able to just farm up and try to even apply their own pressure onto the top lane. It's not going to be so easy for this brewmaster to defend without his ulti up. Where's the Viper? Okay, there's no Chen Holy Persuasion ready yet to call the Viper. He's calling him in now, but they missed their opportunity to kill the brewmaster and they're just going to secure the tower. Okay. And meanwhile, Troll Warlord bottom also gonna get his own tower. Yeah, Alliance just making some easy trades here, but Liquid, they're five man up here. They are looking for another tower. Siege Creep held by the Chen with this Divine Favor just does so much damage so to these strong. towers. It's absolutely ridiculous. They come with the Cinder Brew just trying to bring down these creeps as quickly as possible. And the creeps will die, but I mean the Siege Creep just tearing it apart. Matu comes in to tank a couple of hits, everything to keep the Siege Creep alive. Yeah, Kuro's even going for Dominator on his hero. Okay, interesting. Well, 10 minutes Quite in. Uh, just running in. Uh, what, what, he's what's going pretty brave. Oh, Martu will see him. Viper Strike coming out immediately onto Koikva here. Follow up with another Toxin as well and taking so much damage on this Kunker. He's going to need that run buff. If he wants to survive this one, he doesn't get it. But he's just going to TP himself out and there will yeah, be no Martu on top of him. Yeah, this, um, is, this has proven to be a okay. bit of a problem. Yeah, so the reason why he was doing that is because he saw the Sven already like jungling or whatever and he sees a Nyx bottom so he knows there's no stuns available top. So they were waiting to see if any of Liquid was going to TP out a top lane and they would just get picks. But instead they went on him and he just TP'd out. So Quakeboy just trying to make some space plays here. Miracle... Yeah, he's just gonna in some trouble in some mid, but he's gonna get out okay, and it's actually Liquid now turning around with the aggression. Another Toxin with the Wrath of Nature doing a fair amount of damage as they punch into this middle tier 1 tower. Things coming out onto it, Boxy coming in from behind, he's got the split available, should they want to go for this fight? The X Marks is out onto Mind Control as well, they seem to have this kill in the bag, it's taking a little bit of time, Mind Control especially with the Warcry tanking up a little bit more, stun from the low ground from the Sven, Mind Control gets himself out, the Divine Favor healing him up a little bit as well, Still looking for kills here on Alliance. Martu might be the new target. X marks out on Tim and on Troll Ward as well. Although he's now Viper struck up. So he could get some trouble. G on the run here, but gets into the tree lines. Liquid, well, they lose one, but that's going to be about it. I say that. I mean, Boxy's still hunting, but I don't think he's going to have the time to finish off mind control here. Let's see. Yeah, a divine favor from Chen should be enough to bring him down. They do purge it off instantly. Uh, meanwhile, oh, they are going in. They got the real Boxy held still here, and that will be a death for him. Mitar gets denied. Very I mean, that was still consolation, but they get, they get Matu, yeah. Yeah. I, I still think these kind of moves still favor Liquid. Alliance are expecting so much more from these brew splits this early in the game, and it feels like they're just trading for really unfavorable situations for Alliance. Yeah. Wow, look at look at the uh, Insania. This is this is how you play Jakiro, it seems. <laughs> He has four mangoes now, and he, those are not the mangoes he started with, by the way. They're not. He bought no. those. He bought those like a couple minutes ago. 
Oh, bottom oh, lane. Oh, Tiger. Yeah. Tiger caught in the jungle and brought down by the spike. Carapace off GH. And this is not even remotely the same Enigma game too, right? In terms of his uh, farming speed and the item progression he, that he has. Why has he got a cobbled Radiant's soldier? <laughs> run, run, soldier, run! My control chasing him down the high speed chase. Realizing that is he trying to get the, uh, he's trying to get the creeps back? I don't know. Uh, Mind control waiting for the last hit on it. Just still giving him the run around here. Hide in the trees. Ah, it's dead. Mind control gets it. Easy 200 gold. Yeah, I wonder what Kuroki's idea is with the Dominator. Like, Chen can already get so many creeps, but... Maybe he just wants that one creep who's super fast and the HP regen for his allies. Which yeah. is pretty good. He's all about the catapults. He just wants another catapult. I'm telling you. Yeah. Triple catapult. Divine yeah. favor them all. I think that was a talent. AoE divine favor. So he's got three words right now. He's gonna TP in someone who is a Nyx assassin. Yep. yep. Nyx is here. Invis up. He was showing top. Now it's kind of dangerous. I'm trying to bait them in a tiny little bit. Nobody looking to respond though, Lion's holding back for the time being, just want to clear out the creeps and that's about it. Not really going to be interested in taking a fight right now. So throughout this uh, kind of laning phase, and I guess into the early mid game now, it's kind of just been Mickey off farming on his own. Miracle a little bit more active, but still pretty chilled as he gets himself the Midas. But Mickey quite close, only 1,100 gold. Make that 1,000 exactly gold for the Battle Fury. Gets that, then it's gonna be probably the fastest farming hero on the map. I'm not sure. Sven with Midas or Troll Warlord? Who farms faster? Sven with Midas. He's got cleave. He has a built in cleave. For sure, he will farm faster for now. Yeah, once the Battle Fury's up. Still Sven? Uh, probably, yeah. Like, the Sven is just. You know, he's, he moves so fast and he can. Do so many more actions as well, whereas like Troll, like, he can't actually fight, right, with his teammates. What a torrent from Koikva. Might not be enough though, Tiger still very, very slowed up here as they jump on top of him, and my goodness, Tiger Jeez. ripped a new one, his onions are chopped. Meanwhile, they'll look towards the tier yeah. 1 tower, Koikva just hiding in the tree line here, he's got a boat, he's gonna throw it in just to maybe clear out some of these uh, treants here, gets a couple. Maybe not exactly the uh, boat he was looking for there, but the tower, it's going to drop. Miracle gets the last hit on it as well. And they're also here too. They're not slowing down. They're going to want this other one as well. They've got the catapults. They've got the treants. They've got Miracle on the front line, just punching it up. The macro power is going to be used, but I don't think it's going to do anything to save this tower right now. Even the fortify being thrown out as well. Really trying to keep this tower alive, but it's just not going to happen. Liquid, too much pushing power in this early stage. Kuroki Chen, it's pretty strong. Yeah, this is the tempo that we were discussing earlier that Liquid want to play at. And now that they've got the key items that they want on their heroes, they got the mech, they got the Chen with the Dominator, and, and Nature's probably with drums, they feel so strong right now. And everyone on Liquid is just getting a piece of that cake at the moment. And look at the Nyx, He's, he, he even has more net worth than the Enigma. That can be happening uh, for Alliance. Oh, that's a very bad situation indeed. Yeah. Tiger. And he I doesn't think really have anything beyond the helm of the Dominator yet. He seems to be looking for a blink dagger here. It's so hard for him to play. He really doesn't understand like what is happening at the moment because he couldn't uh, get that first tower for free. And after that, he's always afraid of this Nyx assassin, you know, moving around the map. And they always killed him every time they saw him farming somewhere. Liquid have absolutely zero intention of slowing down in this game as they're looking at the tier 2 at mid now. They're just taking tower after tower, moving from objective to objective. There's a TP in Matsu here. Two towers ready to go. They'll start pounding away on this tower. Boxy looking over to them here. Just doing absolutely no damage though. Uh, Tiger Orchid actually steals up on the... one of the catapults. <laughs> Orchid up soon on the... Um... Nature's Prophet. That's going to be good for killing the Troll Warlord, especially before he gets his BKB. So he can't pop his Battle Trance. And also good at killing Brewmaster, so he can't split. He's going for a Crimson Guard. He's not going to have that initiation with the Blink Dagger either. Alright, so 
A 4k advanti advantage advantage for uh, Liquid right now. Sven just farming up as quickly as he can. And uh, same thing going on with the troll as well. They at least they're out of towers, right? Like Liquid, they've they've got no out of towers to take now. They can't really breach high ground. There should be a bit of a lull in the action until Roshan becomes a possibility. That's when I believe the next fight is going to come from. So Mickey just needs to get as much as he can. I love the way he's going for this BKB next item, which just allows him to get into the fights and uh, start really being a bit of a threat towards Liquid. Because right now with his Battle Fury, he's not really doing enough. It's, it's just the farm ability he's got it for. Yeah, there's no way you can play against Viper, Troll War, without a BKB. All his spells will just destroy you in the team fight. So definitely the correct choice right here. But Liquid is just going to get a free Roshan. I mean, this is there's actually... Nothing that life Radiance bottom tower is under attack. You know, they've got the one mid-tier tower to uh, TP to, but they've got vision on their shrines. I don't mean, the TP's into this one, they'll know about it. I'm not sure if Alliance don't care or if they can't Radiance do anything about it. Oh, they they actually cannot do anything about it. They definitely care that Liquid is gonna get that <laughs> Roshan, but they just cannot do anything with the heroes that they have right now. Like, this Jack Hero is just absolutely a useless hero in this game until, like, Liquid decide to group up and he gets some nice skills on them, but for now, Liquid can just take over this map as they wish until the time the Troll Warlord has his BKB and Neymar gets his Blink BKB. I mean, Blink Dagger is okay for now. If, let's say, uh, the Nyx and Sven are going on someone else, they can he can actually black hole the backline and maybe that could create some kind of uh, good teamfight potential for them. So I like Quickfuss build. He actually went for the Spirit Vessel. On his Kunkka, he knows like it's hard for him to buy other items that can do damage. So at least the vessel can uh, stop some of the healing that comes out of Liquid side. They have an insane amount of heal potential. They have the Mech. I mean, they have the Greaves. They have the Chen, uh, Divine Favor. They have the Dominator. It's a, uh, it's a lot of healing power. The box you just coming on to Matsu here. He's gonna get Viper Strike up here. Uh, doesn't, doesn't really care. Just just kind of runs back to the mid lane. Okay, that was a, that was a thing. Can't you hit Visibility. Poor Banu ba ba is going the way of uh, Alliance. So it's still okay for them that they're not, you know, losing too much in terms of that. Boxy, he's getting <laughs> the haste of Sven on him. Yeah, uh, Miracle? Well, he's actually going for the kill into Jakiro instead. Wants the easier target, and we'll certainly get it. Now with Mind Control coming in, the silence is oh, out, okay. onto the Brew, he's got to wait until that Primal Split comes off cooldown, but with Quakeford coming in to save the day, that is going to be alright. So another stun comes out, he tries to get the spell off just before him, doesn't quite manage it, now he needs to get the split, will be able to do so, a boat comes down onto GH, but he just reflects all the damage with that Spike Carapus. Jumping forward here, looking for the Nyx Assassin with that X marks into Big the kill. Torrent, and that is an easy little kill. Sven turns around with the stun onto three units here. Two Brulings and a Troll Warlord, but they don't do enough damage just yet. Now that the God Strength is down, Miracle is not hitting very hard. Okay, still just trying to kind of throw out some axes here, but they have to back up to the high ground, and there's Liquid who are going to be smashing into this tower. Oh, jump in, stun onto Mikke here. They've got the big one impaled to follow up as well. Mikke needs to get himself back up onto this high ground. Does do so with 700 HP to spare. He does have his BKB face. now on Troll. But they're just gonna back off. They don't have a lot of mana on the Viper at the moment. And they're content with just going back to push out all the lanes and collect all the farm that's on the map for them. Yeah, Miracle gonna be more than pleased just to uh, smash down this bottom lane, get all the creeps, get all that money coming into himself, and hopefully overtaking this troll net worth because uh, Mickey has been top for quite a while now. Yeah, so let's see what kind of moves uh, Alliance can do at this point. They want to really utilize this BKB if they can, or even the Blink on Enigma. Like, if they can get even one pick off on Liquid, they can get so much map control back. But. It's so hard for them to find that initiation at the moment. And looks like Boxy is being chased. And the fear, some, someone's going to get poured in by Holy Procession. No, they're not. Okay. All right, Liquid's just uh, showing a bit of mercy here. Not really wanting to uh, pick off Boxy like that. But no, they are, they are respecting Alliance and uh, taking this game very seriously, um, of course, because, you know, it's the winner of this uh, gets the major, the loser possibly doesn't, down to the lower bracket. It's, uh, it's not a place where anybody wants to be, where they have to face off versus either NIP or OG, which uh, both sound like uh, very scary matches. 
Definitely. And he's oh. a team in these qualifiers as Yours. GH comes in with the stun onto the troll wall. Lodbox, he's closing the gap though onto GH. He doesn't have it, but he gets silenced up. Meanwhile, Martu coming on the back lines along with Nature's Property, but Nature's Property is just getting destroyed. This meat is minced by Mikke. Looks for more now. X marks out onto Martu. Miracle though is in a great position here to try and take this fight. Looking for a blink up onto the high ground, perhaps. Of course, he still has Aegis, so he's not afraid to get involved. But they disengage on the side of Alliance, not getting carried away, not getting too greedy. They get a one kill, and it's a high value one, and now they clear out. However, these two heroes of Alliance, Tiger, it'd kind of be a good thing if he tanked this gank right now, but he blinks himself away, goes for the TP out. Okay, best case scenario. There you get. They both get out fine. Gunk with the shadow. Yeah, that was Looking for top. Oh, it's Anya. No, not like this. Oh, no. Miracle's on him once again. And Miracle with that god strength, just using it for the supports, doesn't even care. He's just running across the map like he doesn't care. Yeah, He just has his Aegis, so it's out now. So in three minutes, he can potentially start spawning. Top, Koikva, look at it. Yeah, he's just playing games, pushing out, making space, dragging heroes back. Just trying to prevent this high ground push as long as possible, but Liquid, they're coming into Boxy here. Whether he throws down the split and gonna throw a rock onto Matu here. Mike going deep onto Matu here, just using that ultimate, trying oh to blow him up and will start to chop through him. It's a blender. Tiger is gone. And oh, he gets a nice blink out there, so he can't get him. But Kuro is gonna die here. Alliance is actually getting into a really good position in this game now. Like their team fight and their items are coming together, and they're gonna be. They're gonna be quite scary pretty soon because Liquid weren't able to get to the high ground and threaten something with what they have. So it's uh, starting to get a bit scary for Liquid. And Alliance uh, are soon gonna have that BKB. No, not yet. not quite yet. He's still gonna be like for another four minutes or so before he can even be close to that BKB. So, um. Liquid, they had a pretty good advantage. They still do have the advantage. I mean, when it comes to gold, they have plateaued. But in the game, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of scared for them. And the X-Mark's actually coming through onto Mind Control with the Macropire so as well. He's just getting annihilated. He's baked by the Jakiro. All these, all these deaths, like they're they're so they're so costly. Like like I said earlier, if Alliance can just find one pick off, one pick off on any hero on Liquid side, Liquid side, they're gonna get so much map control back. And this Nature's Prophet already died twice in the past three minutes, and uh, they are getting oh, that mine. Oh, in comes a God's like Strength that. Miracle on top of him. They've got the lockdown, they've got the damage, but the Ice Path! Is it enough? Koikva running for the trees, yeah, doesn't have mana. mana. He's got the drums, he's got a juke like a madman here, and he's doing so, so far. They can't chase him, he's so quick, and he threw the tree. It's so much so. He's just choked them! Oh, he's done it! Oh my god, Koikva with the plays! Liquid, they get absolutely ruined! And look at, <laughs> look, at the, look at the lions on the bottom side of the map, look how far out they've come during all that time they were chasing yeah. Koikva there. They have taken control of the bottom jungle area already. And the goalie has dropped to 1k now, so it is getting really worrying for Liquid at this point. Can Where Alliance's team fight is God. definitely much stronger, like at this point in the game. He was so fast with that shadow blade and those those drums coming through for the for the Kunker there and phase and They're actually going for a kill here into the lane. Kuro overextends a little bit. Like he's starting to get to work inside that Nether Toxin. Not attacking super fast. The stun actually comes in behind him. Forced to pop the BKB, but they're looking towards Miracle. Miracle doesn't have God Strength. He does have a BKB though. Able to get himself back to his side of the river. Alliance playing it carefully. Matsu running forward. Um, this brewmaster is so tanky right now. Like he doesn't even need to use his split. He can just use his like body in, to take the team fights and just bait out so many spells and soak so much damage. Yeah, he's been doing this that, a yeah. lot. I mean, in, as the brew, just kind of not immediately committing to the primal split if they don't need the stun. He's happy just to to absorb so much of what Liquid throw at him, and it's been working pretty well for Alliance in most of these engagements. Meanwhile, they seem to have caught someone behind. It's actually Mikke, who's really far from his team, but also mind control uh, in a bit of an awkward position. But he's got the BKB. Mikke trying to make it back to his team. Doesn't have the BKB. But he's going to have to pop BKB. the ultimate. Can he get it off? Is he going to keep Ben stunned up here? He's actually okay. The boat buff coming oh, in as well. The rum doing a great job of keeping him alive. He doesn't even have to pop the BKB. Saves it. Oh, he didn't have it. Yeah, sorry, the ultimate. The name was dead, though. Yeah, Tiger he will did be by his <laughs> Valued. He did buy his Mithra Hammer at least. Yeah. yeah, yeah, only like 15 gold when he died, but it does mean no buyback. If he didn't buy the Mithra Hammer, he would have had buyback. 
uh, Tiger's having a really bad game. This game. If he had the game here, last game, this game, they probably would win. <laughs> but he's having a really, really difficult early game and being heavily pressured by Liquid's uh, early game tempo. Yeah, I mean... They've, they've only got the next assassin in the Sven for the stun, so they have got the science on the nature's profit. Uh, oh, they oh, catch they... the Brewmaster going for the TP out. Nice trees into the Yules, holding Boxy still. Boxy doesn't actually have mana for split, even if he wanted to use it here. He might just have to go down. The silence comes through. He gets the mana now, but he's just being controlled up. He might actually get the split off here if he wants to. He's being chased, but there's so many heroes surrounding him, I think he's just going to take the fall without putting his spells on cooldown. Yeah, so at least if he b does buy back, he still has a split up, or else Liquid might have already just gone high ground instantly. I, I think they still will just to force the buyback here, which is a good play. They need to, like, build a difference in their lead. Night Pulse. Throw down onto the floor just to try and keep Liquid off their high ground. Lions having to play yeah, up here. This is incredibly annoying for Liquid to break into the high ground. Even they get this one kill, it's not enough. They really want Roshan and they need to get like at least maybe two heroes and they need to, you know, exhaust some of Alliance's buybacks as well. Yep. In order to be able to break the high ground. So, I mean, it's still pretty early in the game, so that's okay. But they're probably feeling like they were, they're a lot further ahead than they expected. This Troll Warlord is definitely becoming a big, big problem. And the moment that he has Basher, it's going to be really difficult for the Sven as well if he ever gets bashed up once at a Troll yeah, Warlord. And you start getting that attack speed coming through onto the Sven. It makes life very difficult for a Miracle. And we've seen what happens when Svens get controlled up in fights, and it is not pretty. Uh, oh, and Stania actually came a little bit too close to the pit there, and Liquid will defend violently. They don't want this yeah. Roshan attempt being interrupted. And once again, you know, Alliance, they probably know this is going on by now. They don't really have anything to deal with it. They've got the black hole, but getting that off, they'd rather just kind of farm up for the next timings. A BKB from Tiger, and the ping's coming out. They might TP on Tiger pretty shortly here. He's going for They're going to get the banners. Yeah, there's nobody coming. Oh, he's pretty close to that BKB. He goes for the GPM talent. He get it relatively soon. And almost satanic on the troll. Oh, he might get picked off. This is a nice smoke. He's in a bad position. Oh, he needs to get himself away. He's got a BKB. He's got an ultimate <laughs> as well. The uh, Lotus Orb going to perch off the silence. Miracle's still chasing, though. He's not giving up. Five seconds, so he's got the storm hammer. And he decides that's enough. Oh, they found someone else. Zania, he throws his life away. <laughs> I think he was just I mean, going for like a nice path a or something. But, yeah, ends up being a distraction, which he'll be okay with. He's got buyback if he really needs it. Probably won't. It's not exactly a long time to wait. Quake Fur just constantly pushing out his bottom lane. Yeah, these deaths from Insania, like, it's not hurting them in terms of, like, loot the ground, but this hurting them a little bit in terms of the map control that they can get when one hero is behind. Because when Liquid have, like, one hero on a line set, they, the way that they play is so much more different. They're always constantly looking for the follow up, follow up pick off right after that. <laughs> Jakiro. They're lagging. So this hero like Jakiro, I was hating on it earlier. But if he gets levels, if he gets to like level 15, he gets the XP talent or he has all his skills maxed out, he's a pretty good hero. But the problem is he needs XP. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's getting to the stage in the game where he's now getting that. Um, but the fact yeah. is he hasn't really been much of a factor before this point. So you can kind of feel like it's part of the path which has led Alliance to this stuck on high ground sort of situation yeah n and now that i'm thinking about it they might have not picked the keeper of the light because of the nyx assassin being first picked by liquid first phased because they feel like that's a g really good hero against keeper to catch him with the spy carapace and things like that so but jakir is kind of the same right like he can't really split push against nyx assassin that too well either and he kind of needs to split push or else he's not going to get any levels as a support. And that hero needs a lot of levels. At least he's got the max ice path now. So they do have that team fight potential coming out from him. Yeah, the sun's going to be super nice. Uh, either to set up for Tiger, protect him whilst he's going for that black hole or generally just lock him down. Uh, also works really well with X marks the spot. So plenty of uh, synergy yeah. for the Jakiro in this draft. They've, uh, they've really built a nice draft for themselves here. Alliance, which... Uh, isn't really surprising when you look through the last few games. They've been, uh, I feel like their drafts have been their strong points. 
Wow, Miracle put the Hyperstone in his inventory no, instead of Midas. That can't be the most efficient thing there is. That's just a 15 attack speed difference. <laughs> but the Hand of Midas is cooling down 2x slower. <laughs> yeah, when you put it that way, it uh, doesn't, doesn't sound great. GH has... On disc, that's a really interesting. Oh, okay. Ooh, Hello, GH. GH. Maybe they that catch him out big pick off. Yeah, certainly. Oh, he turns there. around with the stun, but Tiger's on top of him. The Manifest, I thought, gonna come down. He uses the Yules on GH here, just trying to buy himself a bit of time. The Elm Disc gonna come it through it as well, but they've got another X Marks to come through. Throws it out really early, actually, which doesn't mean that the Torrent will connect. They were so worried that they were behind the Nick that they didn't commit all their spells to him, but then. They're, all of Liquid was actually going on uh, the Troll Warlord on the mid lane. Yeah, and he manages to BKB out of that situation as well. Now with the Satanic and Sanjin Yasha combination, loads and loads of status resistance piled up on the Troll Warlord, so uh, keeping him locked down in these fights is going to be pretty tricky. Yeah, he's actually almost level 25 on the Troll. That's really impressive. He's been, uh, he's been getting the levels. He always seems yeah. to be. It's like... Yeah, because Mirko has been spending a lot of time running around trying to kill people, right? And creating tempo for his team. Always pressuring alliance, like pushing them back into the base. But the troll has always found his way into the enemy side of the jungle where Liquid are not really, you know, doing anything in this area over here. So he's been able to find his farm without uh, dying. He actually, he's actually 4 0 one. This guy has been very impressive this game. Yeah, that is that is some oh, crazy map sense from him. Oh, Ma too. They're actually jumping straight away onto the Viper here. Viper does get the Viper Strike off onto Tiger, trying to keep him locked down, trying to cancel out the opportunity for a Black Hole as they'll be able to bring down Matu. And now the Black Hole just comes out straight away onto the Sven. Tiger just wants to keep him locked down, wants to go for everyone else on the backside of the fights. Miracle will finish off Tiger, but they are going for GH here instead. And Alliance prioritizing. Power. Meanwhile, Ner the Sven just hold up into the air, but yeah, Mind Control going for them rat plays. They get the tower, but that's about it. The BKB and TP out from Mind Control must be committed. A little bit costly, but they'll take it for a bit of high ground breach because now it opens up shrines which is an entirely new objective for liquid to be able to take yeah so they got the enigma black hole out of the way for liquid they did lose two heroes but they got the tier three as well i would say overall it was a pretty even trade since they can kill the shrines like you said and these shrines have been helping align so much in terms of like where they want to ward where they want to fight around how they want to split push so now that the now that Liquid has that next level of objectives that they can, they have unlocked that they can kill, it's gonna help them quite a bit. Kuro comes, um, sorry, Koikva comes out to bottom lane but then sees Miracle uh, under the cover of Shadowblade and just kind of runs away. There are pings coming out onto him here, so they know he's about, but he is very, very far away. Meanwhile, Alliance swarming over this top lane a little bit, just looking to rest back control of this area. Did lose it a little bit in the last fight, but. Another smoke from the bottom area to go top. Uh, boxy. They're running through Nikkei. across the whole map. They're split up from the rest of their team. Bikki's going to run into everybody. Stun comes down onto the strike as well. But the Lotus Orb going to wake him back up. But can he get off any spells? He does manage to get the ultimate off just about in time. On such low HP, Tiger coming in. Just going to break up those trees. Mikkei chasing forwards and not letting him life steal. And now he can turn around. But Mikkei's actually doing a ton of work onto Miracle here. Mikkei and Miracle fighting it up. He's just going to try and TP himself back. And that is going to be successful for him. It's actually only Jakira that dies. Oh, hold on. Rue could be in some trouble. Um, the tree is forcing Rue the long way around. Boxy, well, the Lotus Soul going to reflect a bunch of spells, but they're still pounding into the Brewmaster up here. He's going to make it to his high ground, but not any further than that as he's brought down. Does buy back the GH. GH. He's stuck on the high ground right now. The x Mark's keeping him in place. There's Kunkka. His own trees blocking him off. The AGH has no escape onto low ground for him. The tower's probably going to do the job. Although in comes Miracle with the God Strength. Takes down Tiger. Now looking onto Mikkei as well. Mikkei, though, he can fight up. He's still going oh, for Miracle. Miracle here. Miracle's in some trouble. The Spirit Vessel on him. The x Mark's as well. Dragged back with the Torrent. They get him down as well. And Chen's going to be another one. The stun comes down onto two of them. It's not really enough to hold them back as Chen's in the air forever. Point for... He's uh, taking a bit of damage as Matu coming back in. My control Miracle as well. Buy Miracle back. buys back. They want to take Miracle this fight. Back. Kunker, he's dropping low and he is dead. Does have buyback on Kunker as well. It's 20 seconds until the Enigma comes back. Meanwhile, Boxy in the middle of everybody doesn't have split, doesn't have anything as he's just going to get destroyed. And there's, uh, well, he's gone for 100 yeah. seconds. 
Boxy. They're not buyback on the brewmaster. This is gonna be a lot of buildings being taken right here. Just not there for the defense. And Nima actually has a BKB black hole up, so maybe they can find some kind of. Oh, his team got cancelled. The trust team got cancelled. He can't get back to the team. Wait, what? Oh, GH caught him out. Following him, so I mean, if they had any chance of defending these barracks, it is now gone. Yeah, they get the top racks for free. Oh, two mangoes. Quick Quickly uses a BKB here. I'm, I'm not too sure about that, but they're going to get the boat X mark combo off onto Matu here. But he's just going to grieve himself straight up, try and get himself away. Mikke has got those further stacks coming in quickly, but doesn't want to go too far forward. The sun throwing out on Tim. Get the axes that Sven can't really jump on. Well, he uses the axes just before stun comes through. So if Sven does try to go on him, then he's going to start missing real quick. Yeah, now Liquid can already take it a bit more chill because they know the black hole is up and Tro has all his skills available. They really don't want to uh, commit too hard into this. This uh, poison attack affects building spell is like doing so much work right there. The final the barracks exposed for Alliance. A chance of being oh, the that second team really to qualify. Bad. Yeah. It's on the line here. GH, man, GH with that uh, tornado, I mean the stun and the tornado on the Troll Warlord to delay them to take those two Raxes. And Nemo was ready to use the Blink BKB Black Hole, but without the Troll there, they don't have any damage. The seeds of fortune. There'll, there'll be one, 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 one day, I'm sure. Do you remember the start of the game when I said he's just going to save up for the big Black Hole? He's, he's saving. Yep. He's saving real hard. It's coming. I hope. Waiting for it. Like so, Liquid... Has. So Sven actually doesn't have buyback. Like if he somehow does die, they can get a lot off the map. The only thing is the Nature's Prophet is always putting himself in a position to split push, and he does have a buyback, so he's okay to like. Yeah. So here he goes bottom. Alliance is gonna go middle, but they're not gonna have too much time in trying to make a play right now because Micro is already showing in the bottom lane. Yeah. Yeah. They need to push this. And actually, with the creeps coming in at top as well, and there's gonna be backdoor protection down those final sets of barracks very shortly. Yeah, it's a matter of seconds. They need to start a teamfight already if they really want to do something. It comes through Viper. He's dropping quickly. The split even comes out. It looks like they've just given up on Matu right now. They're trying to get through him. But meanwhile, back in the base, Mind Control, he's just getting to work. These barracks are falling quickly. Meanwhile, they have managed to kill Matu and Berman, and now they're up onto the high ground. Mickey just chasing forwards here. He's got their Satanic. He's taking a ton of damage from the tower rack. alone. Meanwhile, the bottom racks, they're under fire. No one's coming back for this one. Mind Control, he's going to get the Megas. Yep. Alliance, that was probably not the play, and they TP back after everything to a home which has been destroyed. Now the game just went from hard to near impossible. To come back from this, it's going to take so much from Alliance. Do they have that in them? Maybe, if they can get like a sick black hole and they kill the Sven and the Viper, and they can delay the game for another two minutes. And he's going for a rapier already on the Troll Warlord. Yeah, it's it's. I feel like he even needs more than a rapier. He could actually go out of base and buy it right now. He wouldn't have buyback, but I mean, if you're buying a rapier, do you really care that much about buyback? There we have it. It's a rapier time, second of the day, and this one belongs to Mickey. Yeah. Quake for actually seen here in the middle lane. Lions pushing out kind of far. Mega Freeps pushing in through the top. Kind of close to getting up onto that high ground. Roshan is up. Be awesome for Alliance to take it, but also a pretty unrealistic concept as well. How? How? Who? Is there anybody they can actually send back to defend this other than the troll? Um. Kunka can't. Kunka, do it. I guess. You reckon? Yeah, he can do it. He just needs to splash a couple of times. He'll be all right. Alliance, they, uh, their foray out of the base does not last very long, and this is something they're going to have to get used to if they want to stay in this game too much longer. It's a uh, battle against the Mega Creeps now. Yeah, so they're just going to get this last Aegis and Cheese and Refresher. Just secure the game since they don't have buyback on the Viper anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the, this is the slot, Special right? On Sven, go to Epicenter. Go. It is. I mean, Liquid is. definitely don't want to play against Nip or OG again. Like those are always coin flip games. No. no, those are. They those would love to secure the game right now. Yeah, they're very close definitely to doing so to... as well. 
And look at Koifer yeah. just pushing out this bottom lane as far as he possibly can before he has to run himself away. But even with a torrent and a boat, the creeps are still going to keep on pushing in. Liquid grouping up in the mid here. It's Boxy pushing out. Ping's coming out on him. They might be tempted to go for this. Tiger is right behind. Cannot be seen. They're trying to bait him out a bit, maybe? They are. Troll Lord's Rapier. I mean, they really need to find a good angle for him to come in. Has he shown himself yet since the Rapier? I think he has, right? Surely he must have, but I mean, it's, it's really hard to know. I'm sure he's shown himself already. I'm not, somewhere, not 100%, maybe. You know, Quakefer's just pushed out the bottom lane. Now he's pushing out um, top. He's been around the place. Another smoke up from Alliance here. They really want someone to just come forwards. Anybody they can start the fight on. I think they'd even settle for Mutu, to be honest. But Liquid just say, I mean, the, cre the creeps are coming in. The Kunker can't do this all what? by himself. There's too much for him to defend. Ah, uh, so Miracle is actually, I mean... Uh Liquid's actually waiting for the buybacks, Miracle, to be up. So they have all 10, yeah. like, they have like 10 lives or whatever, or not, uh, to be able to fight the next fight. Because Chen can always bring people back, right, instantly. Yeah. If you die in the clash, concept. so. They want to uh, use the, and they, they want to use some of their bodies to, like, bait out the Enigma Black Hole, and then they would just buy back, and Chen would just TP them in. So they don't really want to force the engagement with his Aegis right now. They're just waiting a bit longer for the. Sven's buyback. He's got like 50 seconds left. So once that's up, they will go. I don't think they're going to wait for the Viper buyback because that would just uh, outtime the Aegis. So. Matu, Meike, starting off with a couple of hits into Matu here, but now Wachi gets stunned up on the retreat here. The torrent going to hold back Matu for the time being. Yeah, they definitely want to fight the Troll Warlord after Nyx has mana burned him a few times so he doesn't have a battle chance available in the fight, because it costs 150 mana, and that's a lot for a troll, so... Definitely wants to keep mana burning him. GH is going down to there, see? hole right now, uh, not, so not outside the base. 200 mana left. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. They will think about... They will think about taking the engagement after that. Look at look at him, look at the troll, you know, this big fat level 25 troll has to go back to get mana, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of embarrassing, and GH just sitting here. Ready with the mana burn, so uh, Mickey, at least he knows how far to come forward. Yeah, Sven buyback is available now. Nick's buyback also available, so it's definitely time well, we for went them past to... the line. <laughs> Go get your mana back, kid. <laughs> it's definitely time for uh, Liquid to, you know, slowly move in closer, inch closer into the base. And all three of the waves are going to be coming into Alliance's uh, tier force now. Oh he's gonna... God. Sven, he's found the double damage. Oh. He's running in. He's ready to roll. Alliance. Oh, the mana burn again. Troll, go heal. <laughs> Falls back to base. <laughs> get your mana back. <laughs> oh, no. He didn't get enough. He's going to get oh, mana burn again. He's, he's come closer. Mana burning machine is here. And they're actually going in onto Boxy. Where is the Sven? He's nearby. He's got that double damage. He's inside the smoke as well, looking for a window to initiate upon. Not getting carried away though. Liquid just being so, so careful as they start working on these tier fours bit by bit. Oh, Martin with the Aegis oh, taking some he damage. Yeah, he's, he can't ulti. He just can't ulti. He needs to go back and get some, some mana back. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to, to press that R button. Yeah, they're actually slowly taking down the tier fours with the Viper's poison attack. You see that? This is ridiculous. It actually does so <laughs> much damage. No Boxy coming in, so like, uh, GH, please, please, please stop oh, doing this. But now they're initiating pretty heavily. They want to try and maybe bring down GH yeah, here, but it's it. just not looking very likely. Tiger coming in, doesn't have a target for the black hole. Matu fighting up here. They're just going to start chopping away at this Viper. They turn their attention back to GH right now. Meanwhile, they need to make sure Mind Control doesn't go for anything in the back lines. They're still trying to fight up in here. Meanwhile, Tiger being chased away. He's actually just dying to the Mega Creeps. He needs to get back to base. And Zarnia as well, so low. A Miracle comes in, finds one. They're going to have to just black hole him, but he's not falling into the fountain. But Mickey going to town. Miracle chopped down. He's got a buyback. There is a Chen alive as well. They can bring him back into this fight. And that oh, he's certainly out. will no do. No black hole available anymore. Yeah, and now oh, the ultimate gets pressure. thrown onto Kunker here. Kunker being dropped. Pressure. Tiger, he's got a chance to do this right now. The GH, the throne, it's going down the throne. They need to do something and they need to do it now, but it's a nice black hole onto two heroes, but the rest of Liquid just deal with the throne. The god strength, Sven, 
takes down the Ancient, Team Liquid will be victorious. It doesn't really end in a big fight. 